Hey guys, it's me, Ego here. Hi. Hello. Like many people, worrying about lip care always seemed like homework for me. Recently, there's been a lot of interest in third-generation lip care products in Korea. Since our lips do not have separate glands, it's more difficult to maintain them, and when ignored, dead skin will often appear and they'll dry out easily, causing them to burst like sausages. As for third-generation lip care products, they'll make lip care more effective, which is always a concern. I like to talk about lip serum. There are many different products to care for your lips. The most commonly seen lip balm usually comes in a form of a stick and is convenient for frequent reapplication but has limitations in providing moisture and nutrition on its own. Lip masks, which appeared as a second generation lip care product, was mainly applied before going to bed, so it received attention for its moisturizing ability, but there was also many opinions that was uncomfortable due to its somewhat heavy formulation and jar container. The third generation lip care lip serum that I like to introduce today is a lip care product that complements the shortcomings of a lip balm and lip mask and maximizes their advantages. I looked it up and found that it was made by LG Household and Healthcare. Coincidentally, the products I'm introducing today are all LG Household and Healthcare products. The name lip serum is a combination of lip and glycerin, a representative moisturizing ingredient, and is a product that creates optimal lip condition by taking care of the dead skin cells on your lips and filling them with moisture. All lip serum products come in the same case, and this container is an air-fit container exclusively developed and patented by LG Household and Healthcare, which unlike existing products whose ingredients become contaminated and deteriorate as they are used, this container is set to prevent contamination and maintain the same feeling of use from beginning to end. I've known that more than 16 brands of lip serum have already been released, including transparent lip balm like lip serum, pearly lip serum, and colored lip serum. Let's take a look at the 5 brands of lip serum that I briefly showed you earlier. Coke Glow Color Color Lip Serum As the name suggests, this is a lip serum product with colors. It's a lip serum that comes in a total of 6 colors. It has the characteristics that the ingredients contained in each color are different. The entire color contains the same amount of glutathione. It's not a product that gives a clear sense of color when applied to the lips, so it may be a good idea to choose one that suits the function you want. It's a lip serum that provides immediate moisturizing recharge and is a vegan product that has completed keratin improvement clinical trials and received vegan certification from a Korean vegan certification institute. Though it may be a colored product, it's a lip serum that is said to be usable even at night. I think it'd be okay to use it during the day for lip care or to add natural complexion and as a substitute for a lip mask at night. Glint by Vidivolve Lip Serum this is a lip serum that has a brilliance like falling stars. This is a lip serum that comes in a total of three colors. As a brand famous for glitter, created with only pearls, it boosts a clear color without any dullness, created only with pearls. It's said to have a plumping function that leaves a cool and pleasant feeling. It provides moisture, elasticity, and shine by containing glycerin, ceramide, shea butter, and vegetable squalene ingredients along with peptides and collagen. And it's said that there is a dead skin cell care function as it contains a triple complex keratin care including serine, proteolytic enzyme, and PHA. It also has wrinkle improving functionality, so I thought it'd be good for plump lip care. Fresh and Vita Ampoule Lip Serum Vegan this is a lip serum that forms a strong, moisturizing, protective film with vitamin C complex. It's a lip serum with a total of two colors. It's said to help improve elasticity and wrinkles with the use of super plants rich in polyphenols and antioxidants. And it's said to be a lip serum that functions to soothe the skin cells and has a moisturizing effect that lasts for 12 hours. They also claim to be a product that can even be expected to strengthen damaged skin barrier. Number one can be used as a lip mask and number two has a thick light color, making it good for use when going out. CMP Propolis Lip Serum This lip serum contains propolis, befitting a brand that mainly uses propolis ingredients. It's a lip serum with no color and is said to contain honey along with propolis, so it keeps the lips moisturized for 12 hours and is a functional cosmetic that improves wrinkles on the lips. The main ingredients appear similar to glints, including dual peptides, collagen, shea butter, vegetable squalene, penaceramide, and glycerin. It's a lip serum that applies smoothly and softly and giving your lips a sensation that is slightly coated, which is lighter than expected, so it'd be good for lip care. But personally, when applied in large amounts, it can feel a bit runny, so I wouldn't recommend it as a substitute for a lip mask. Belief Super Nights Multivitamin Lip Serum As you can see from the name, this is a lip serum that can be used in multiple applications. It's a single color lip serum like CMP and it's a multi lip serum that can be used not only on the lips but also around the eyes, mouth and anywhere else that feels dry. 
It contains Napure's original formula and multivitamin complex to provide clear, moisturized, and more vital care. And they say that it's possible to maintain smooth skin without worrying about the skin cells with its triple keratin care complex. It appears to be suitable for a variety of uses since this product has been tested on sensitive skin, and it feels good on the lips as it applies on smoothly and moisturizingly. This is a lip serum that felt a little thicker than CMP. Each of the five lip serum formulations had different appearances. Coke Glow Color applied on well and was not sticky at all. Glint has a thin gloss formulation with a slightly sticky finish. Though Freshient may feel sticky, it applies on feeling like a soft melting balm with a non-sticky finish. CMP seemed a bit watery but had a sticky feel and also seemed to be applied smoothly, but the finish was a bit oily. Belief had a viscous texture that stretches and feels tacky, but when I applied it, it formed a moisturizing barrier with a slightly oily feel. Among the five lip serums, Coke Glow Color with its colors, Glint with its pretty glitter, and Freshen, which is good for daily use, seem to be good to use together during makeup. In particular, in the case of Glint lip serum, I like to recommend Glint products for makeup since I think it'll create a more voluminous, shiny, pretty lip look if you use it with your usual lip color. CMP and Belief products which do not have color, are multi-use products and feel slightly slippery rather than sticky. So if you're looking for a care product that is good for frequent application to dry areas, I recommend CMP and Belief products. Additionally, if you're sensitive to scent, I would not recommend Cocoa Color since it does not taste good when it goes to your mouth. All in all, I hope you can use lip serum products more effectively by referring to the products I introduced today. So my video is still here. Thank you for watching my video today. Don't forget to subscribe, press the like buttons, and please leave some comments for me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.